probably the most sought after shipwreck in the Great Lakes. It's it quite literally the holy grail, if you will, of shipwrecks. As we approach the end of the week, it's becoming less likely that the Griffin will be identified during the current project on Lake Michigan. For more than 300 years, there has been mystery surrounding the shipwreck. Experts are still trying to figure out exactly what happened to French explorer Robert LaSalle's ship after it left Washington Island. For seven days now, explorers and scientists in Fairport, Michigan, have been trying to find the answer. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz has been there with them the entire time and learning about it. He joins us now live. And Ben, has time run out on this project? It's getting close, Michelle. Commercial divers were back in the water today trying to find some sort. They were probing, actually, trying to find anything, some sort of wood or metal buried deep inside the lake bed. One artifact has been recovered. It's the 19-foot piece of timber Steve Leibert found in 2001 while looking for the griffin. Scientists believe it's a centuries-old bowsprit, possibly a detached piece of the griffin. Now the question is how to preserve it. The consensus here is to take it out of the water, which comes with some risk. One problem is that it's very long. It's 19 feet long and quite fragile. It's uh, waterlogged. It's been soaking up uh, water for over 300 years if it is off the Griffon. Uh, we thought it best that it be extracted um, and, um, and then taken to a facility to be restored and preserved. And if anything, um, hopefully it goes into a museum. Well, the other option for this piece of timber is to rebury it. However, crews here worry someone would go dive down there and take it. Now, the timber is being protected right now by crews, and a decision about its future is likely to come next week. I'll have more on that coming up tonight on Fox 11 News at 9. For now, reporting live in Fairport, Michigan, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News.